Okay, getting ready to take off the hatch um, and heading over to JDM of Orlando. They've got a hatch over there I'm going to pick up for cheap. Uh, it's got a rear windshield wiper. But anyway, uh, in order to get it there, I don't believe it'll probably fit inside the Civic, inside the CRX, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't want to take the risk. So I'm going to take this one off and put the other one on. So I'm going to be driving over there with no hatch, which is kind of ghetto fab, but you know, got to do what you got to do in order to make it work. So, um, the wires, well, first let's start off before that. Um, you don't need to take this panel off, uh, but you do need to take this one off. And you've got four screws, plastic screws that are up top that uh, have anchors in there like that. And then uh, plastic screws to wedge them out. And this I can put back on now. I don't want that to fall off. The other side's broken off for whatever reason. Forget I got a camera in my hands. So, just leave that on there for now. Um, Alright, so instead of cutting this, I read on Honda Tech that you can snake it down there. I'm going to have to snake a fish tape down there. I'm not going to be using this hatch again uh, because of uh, rust issues. So... I'll be taking the glass and, you know, salvaging everything I can off of it and probably even using the sheet metal to patch the car. Um, if I don't sell the doors, I may just do that as well. Uh, or just pull the whole skin off. Don't know yet. Anyway. Um, so you take off, take out those four um, plastic bolts, pull out the anchors, and then you got to get over here on this end. And I used... Uh, this tool right here from Harbor Freight and got up underneath there and, and you had to pop it pretty good and then once you get your hand you know I like to do quick bursts of movement it's uh, less chance for uh, the molding to break and just the uh, attachment otherwise if you go nice and slow it will uh, in my experience tend to end up finding the weak point of the molding and then snapping it so quick bursts work good uh, for this kind of stuff and there were two bolts up here. I don't know that I even needed to take this thing out, but that shows you uh, the technology in the 80s. You know, make a couple of round lights. And I just put a... So, it's pretty funny. Um, so take all those off. Take all the wires. When uh, I took them all off, I didn't want them getting hung up. Uh, if you ever done electrical work, you're going to know this trick. You just uh, tape everything up with electrical tape, and that'll prevent it usually from hanging up. And then you can, you know, lube it up with. Uh, you could use soap. Um, that's the cheapest way. They actually make some uh, white stuff. I can't remember. I haven't been in the industry in like oh, 13, 14 years. So, but it uh, glides it through. Likewise, you can use a fish tape which is used in electrical work uh, to fish down through here and there appears to be some uh, little ports here so if you get hung up you can kind of grab it and then make it down there and then you can pull your wire back up once you tape it up there but instead of cutting this which I don't want to cut uh, do that next thing was to disconnect the shocks I've got aftermarket shocks I ordered the ones for this car they sent me different ones so I went and got this hardware ace a year or two ago uh, unbolted them and when your shocks are good this is a good idea if you have no friends because you can't tolerate idiotic people even 10% of the time you have to do stuff on your own so this is the reason why I don't have anybody here helping me so I've got this going down to here this going down to here uh, if it scratches it I don't care because I'm going to be painting the car uh, if you care I'd get a piece of wood obviously or just find somebody nearby ask them to help you most people are pretty nice that don't know you uh, next thing I have one of these Chinese made tools I bought at Sears and I paid twenty dollars for it. it was on sale it was actually on clearance and these things are great came in a set uh, turn one way uh, turn the other 
Uh, you gotta flip it over, it only spins one direction. But uh, it's uh, flexible, which works. So I've taken off the two middle bolts and loosened up the two outside bolts. And then I'm gonna take those outside bolts off very carefully and hopefully lift this thing up without breaking it. If I break it, again, not a big deal. Uh, I've got another one I'm going to pick up. I don't want to break it though. I want to save the glass because who knows when I'll need it in the future. Um, I really wish Honda would have engineered this differently and they would have put studs connected to the hatch going down through the latch and all you had to do was put nuts locking washers on there because it would maintain the stability of the hatch. It's not going to shift because it's got four studs anchored into the, the hinge. But for whatever reason they didn't do it that way. So. Although I don't know if they changed it over there, I should check that because, uh, oh well. No, it doesn't matter if they did change it, that's what I want. So, um, anyway, I also removed uh, the molding temporarily just to be able to get access to that one because it was kind of tight and I'm going to do the same over there. So, in the next video, pretty shortly, I'll have this hatch off, running Ghetto Fabulous and heading towards Orlando.